Welcome back to Danger Esque 3! The Criminal Project. The lady's been kidnapped. How could you tell? We didn't have a single clue in this room. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was real hard to figure out. But we're gonna have to find a way to save her. So we're going to the prison. Where's the prison gonna be? Put it up in Canada? Yeah, put it up in Canada. I don't trust them. We know what you're really about, Canada. It's Diamonical. Oh, because he's got a diamond for a monocle. Danger skew! Listen, Diamonical. I know you have a grudge against me for locking you up in this joint, but I need to break into some scumbag kidnapper's hideout, and you are gonna help me. Relax. <laughs> Turns out, prison's the best thing that ever happened to me. Getting shivved repeatedly in the yard really puts things into perspective. I'm a new man. Are you sure? I was kind of looking forward to locking you in a cell and beating the answers out of you. I mean, a crooked cop's got to stay bent, right? <laughs> if you want, you can crack me over the head with this bottle of Bull Honky Sport. Only $3.99 a bottle. It's like sweating on the inside. <laughs> hey, I told you, no product placement. Okay, so we can talk to him about stuff. Let's talk to him about... Good thing Ronaldo isn't here right now. He hates to see hardened criminals go all soft serve. Says he's got no respect for tough guys that turn out to be wimps. Where is old Fezhead? Um, he's waiting back at the brick wall, where it's safe. Okay, I have a kidnapping to solve and a hideout to break into. You're gonna have to tell me all your secrets. Now, why would I want to do that? Okay, for this one, you do actually want to hit the devil one, because that gives an extra thingamajig. Because if you don't, I'll have you transferred to Tri Lambda Penitentiary! With all the white collar criminals, hackers, and illegal downloaders of anime? The monsters. That's right! Nerd prison! <gasps> you can't do that to me, man! What'll become of my street cred? Then fess up, or get ready to heavily protect your pocket! Okay, you win, Danger Esk. The truth is, I never did any of that stuff. What? I always hired guys to do that stuff for me. If you want to break into a kidnapper's hideout and rescue the hostage, you're gonna need the two best minds in the business. But you're not gonna like it. Why do people keep telling me that? <laughs> Both are people from your past. One is an expert kidnapping solver. And the other is the man with the plan. So the the tri lambda thing mm -hmm. is revenge of the nerds because uh, it was lambda 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 was their fraternity. Yeah, that was a cele another celebrity name drop that we got for that one. Who is this man with the plan? The plan is literally the architectural plans to the kidnappers' hideout. You'll definitely need those for breaking in purposes. Yeah. And the man is your long-time arch-enemy, Perduki. Perduki! <laughs> He's set up shopping in an abandoned nightclub on the edge of Rainbow City. If I need any more info, I'll be back. You know where to find me, at least for the next five to ten. Hold up, I'm not done talking to you, though. I need some info, Diamonicle. I'm your inside man! Expert kidnapping solver? Is that even a real job? It used to be, and this man was the best. That is, until he got mixed up in a case that he just couldn't solve, it drove him mad! Mad, I say! Wait, okay, I thought you said sense. this was <laughs> someone from my past. I don't know any kidnapping solvers. Oh, you know him more than you know that you know that you know him? Or something? Ask your partner Ronaldo. He'll know where to find him. Thanks for the info, Diamonical. Sounds like me and a certain to be retired sooner than he thinks partner of mine need to have a little talk. So, Ronaldo, a little baron tells me you know something about an expert kidnapping solver. Uh oh. Now, I don't think that's something we should be talking about. I thought we were partners. What are you hiding from me? 
He's no good for this case, Dangerous. Forget about him. Who? Who are you talking about? Your father! <gasps> Dad Jurask? <laughs> My father is the kidnapping solver? Yes, that's why he left Down you. Dad because ass. he went mad. He's no help to us. Where is he now? Last I heard he was wandering around Venice, but... Then pack your bags, Ronaldo. We're going to France. We're going to Italy. <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to say it's in Italy, but okay, we gotta go. We gotta go stick up Bob's real quick. Yeah, all right. A couple things to do over here. I think there's some grass nearby with some crap in it. Too. <laughs> We're going to France. Boop. We're going to Italy. Tuft of grass. What the heck is this? Oh, that's probably one of my spare monocles. It must have rolled through the bars to freedom. I gotta remember to try this thing on myself. I wonder if it'll make me look more. <laughs> I'm sorry. Now I'm thinking of the first German. episode with that little strong bad thing that is my. <laughs> and then that just cracked me up. You're under arrest. I know I am. I'm already in prison. Oh yeah. If only all prison prisoners could get shiv constantly every day and <laughs> uh, turn their over a new leaf. Okay, now the last thing we gotta head over to uh, Venice, and I know exactly where it is located. It's technically right under the office, so we can't actually put it close. But you know, <laughs> I like the and I know exactly where it is located. <laughs> oh my god. I just feel so. The first thing I feel bad about is the fact that you didn't hear the little boop. <laughs> Here you go, little stick. Whoa, you sprouted a. something. <laughs> Perduccios. This actually looks like a nutritious part of your healthy breakfast, and not at all like a cheap marketing tie in that has absolutely nothing to do with this movie. Man, I could really go from Nintendo cereal system right now. All right, so where are we going from here? We gotta head to the old club. Let's put the old club. I would put it right around Africa. Just, okay. Just to give that like Morocco feel to it, like we're Casablanca. -y. That's that's fair. That's fair. So we can go to the old club or Venice. Because there's two people. Well, well, well. If it isn't dangerous, can his little green sidekick, Ronaldo? We've been expecting you, haven't we, killing you guy? On the huntsman! I understand just that I ball. have something you want. <laughs> the plans to the kidnapper's secret hideout. So just hand it over and nobody has to get hurt. Except everybody that's not me. Not so fast! I'm willing to turn over these important architectural documents to you if you can best me in a gentleman's game of cards! Fine! What's your game, <laughs> pure walked dookie? Up to the thing My again. card, hold them, 52 pickup! Rock, paper, baccarat! Uh, of course! Being a sophisticated worldly traveler, I'm intimately familiar with the game of rocks, papers, and Bert baccarat! But Ronaldo here is an uncouth roustabout, so you better explain the rules for him. <laughs> the rules are simple. Each player is dealt two cards. You first, then me. Choose your best card and play it on the table. The player with the best card wins. Oh, and nothing beats rock, except paper. I'll give you a minute to decide if you want to chicken out. If not, let me know when you're ready. Hmm, I like the sound of this game. Let's play Egyptian Rat Screw instead. I always like that game. Queen? Queen? Come <laughs> on, bulletproof! Bulletproof? That's hardly fair. <laughs> but are you nunchuck proof? Just hand over the plans, Perducci! Violence? How uncouth! If you want the plans, play me for them! So you remember in the opening scene where Strong Matt's chasing after them, but he's like 
all black and everything. Yeah. Like, in the cartoon where he showed up, they had him, like, in the similar thing. But it turned out during the end, when they were showing, like, the whole behind-the-scenes stuff, they just literally had the cheat paint in black. <laughs> What's this painting? Whoa, that's an awesome painting! Where'd you get it? None of your beeswax! And keep your grubby mitts off of my stuff! Knocked over tables! The telltale sign that this place has been abandoned! <laughs> what else we got? Tables? Ronaldo. Anything to talk to Ronaldo about? Anything back here? Bottles? These ones are all old and warm. And all have light bulbs stuffed inside of them, apparently. And oh, a, that explains And a one colors. that isn't cold isn't a one at all. I think there's a formula for that. Yeah, I think that's about all we got. Anything new, Ronaldo? Hey, Ronaldo. Verducci will only give me the plans if I beat him at his own game. What should I do? I don't know, Danger Esk. If you lose, that could mean- Wrong answer. The correct answer is beat him bad, leave him with nothing, mop the floor with his puffy white beard. Oh, I was gonna say that next. Actually, what happens if we lose? Looks like Perducci's henchman has the plans, the plans, but I doubt I'll be able to talk him into Not very sharing. high stakes, then. If you want, I could go kick him in the teeth. Easy there, Ronaldo. I just paid for your retirement party. I can't afford your funeral, too. Your inevitable funeral. Oh, there was a cake. That was the whole party. <laughs> yeah, really. And you didn't even bring the cake. Yeah, his mom made the cake. <laughs> All right, Perducci. I have no idea what any of these mean. Uh... Okay, Perchuti, let's play! Let the games begin! I mean, bro, we're doing that strong The name of the game is RPB. Two for you, and two for me! I have a seven, and an old receipt. That'd be throw down whatever he thinks the strongest. I feel like this old receipt may be more powerful than the seven. I guess I'll play this. Well played, Dangerous. But see if you can beat this. Hmm. Play it then. That's rough. I'll have to try uh -huh. this seven. Beat this. The Ace of Spades. That's the best card there is. That's right. I win. Too bad, Danger Dope. Dang! Parducci! How do you play again? Oh, I'm yes, used to just... playing Bangkok bloody knuckles rules. Not baby sister girly rules. <laughs> Each player is dealt two cards. You first, then me. Choose your best card and play it on the table. The player with the best card wins! Shuffle those cards! And I want to see your hands when you do it! Uh, that's gonna be a bit of a problem. Fine, but no funny stuff. <laughs> Let me see your hands when you do it. Um... Okay, I'm gonna ask him to shuffle again, and we're just gonna see what happens. Shuffle those cards again! I don't trust your Ducci style! That isn't right. Try again. Let's try that and see what Ducci, happens. Ducci, you and me, let's go! Oh, it's on! Here we go! Two to the player, two to the dealer! Oh, there we go. Ah, the Ace of Spades. You have to wait for the top card on the deck to look like an actual card. Because if you're always getting... If he deals to you first, then you will always get whatever the top card is. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna play the seven. You gotta save your good cards for last. I see. I'll play this card. Well played, but I have... Chew on that, Perducci! The Ace of Spades! 
Oh no! You beat me! Oh, but wait! Watch this! Booyah! I had a rock! I win again! And nothing ah! beats rock you see what paper. I did there? Pretended he won, but then playing rock? No! Oh, well, let me explain it to you. You see, when mumber, 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 and then mumble, he mumble, mumber, 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 well, and doing then that. mumber. Never go into a game without a rock up your sleeve. Mumber, 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 and then he mumber, mumber, <laughs> mumber, 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 and then mumber, 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 mumber. That's when mumber, mumber. Mumble, mumble, mumble. You may think you've won this time, Perducci, but Danger Ask always has the last laugh. And the last Danish. No one gets the last Danish in my house! I can go for a Danish. That's kind of mixing up franchises there, because, you know, Strong Bad Man always has... Steiny, get me a Danish! Alright, let's play the your game! May the best player win! Sweep the leg! Sweep the leg! Two to you, two to me! Well, I did get the Ace of Spades. Hmm, I'll go with this. But I also have a uh, rock! I play a rock, and nothing beats rock! Ah, oh, fish sticks! Oh wait, paper! Paper beats rock! Quick, give me some paper! Phew, that was a close one! Nice teamwork there, killing you guy! Well, I think I have toyed with you long enough, Danger-esque! Clearly you are no match for me! Now get out and don't ever come back! I got the plans! The plans! You got them, Dangerous! What? Oh no! I am bested! Go on, take them! I'm a failure! More emotion! <laughs> Go on, Dangerous! Just take it and get out! <laughs> Killing you guys! Get my painting and let's go! Jeez, well done. I had no well idea you was such a Nancy boy. Hey, suck it up, you big baby. Take it easy, Ronaldo. It's not every day that a guy like that gets beat down so bad by a guy like me. I mean, it is every day, but especially today. Every day. <laughs> yeah, who knew Perducci would turn out to be such a wuss? Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? All right, before we leave, there's one or two things left for us. I can use that rock I got on these bottles. All right, hey, I rock. win! Why, look, it's a well-crafted miniature version of me. I'd buy one of these for $29.97 plus tax from your local retail establishment any day. I mean, I would, wouldn't you? I sure would. 97? Why 97? 97, some stores do that. Um, I know, it's weird. I remember clerks, they had that discussion of like, why does everything end in 9 in price tags? And like, everything behind them didn't end in 9. Mm. Like, diff like various different numbers. I think the point is like, it saves you like that 1 cent, but that really doesn't matter, but people think they're being saved by that, uh, I mean, that's money, exactly so. it. And that's why like, you have 29.99 instead of 30, because 29.99 feels less than 30, so even, people are more inclined to purchase Even it. though technically it's one cent difference. So. Yeah, and uh, the 29.97, 7, again, feels at a glance a lot lower than 9. So you're like, oh, this is a lot cheap. Like, obviously, if you think about it for two seconds, you know, but it's not about tricking somebody. It's just about that impulse buy. It's about that kind of subconsciously you're thinking... It feels cheaper, even also, though it's not really. Also, another thing I heard is that apparently if you go in with uh, headphones in and listen to your own music... Another costume missing from the photo booth. Or wardrobe trailer. I'll go ahead and put it in there. I'm gonna admit that's a nice hat. You may want to put that on him. 
Uh, if you go in with, like, headphones and listen to your own music, it they play music, but they play it at such a tempo that it kind of, like, slows you down to where you actually buy a lot more. Hmm. And if you listen to your own stuff, you kind of speed up a lot more. Hmm. All right, so that's it for now. So until next time on Danger Esque 3. The criminal projective. We go to Venice. That's in France. Italy. <laughs> <laughs>